Hello viewers and a warm welcome back to my channel. Right, sorry it's not a project video this week, but it is a review on the Lumberjack 12 inch bandsaw. But there's two reviews on for you today, so you get double for the price of one. So, right, the first thing is this little handy uh, mask here. It's uh, impact, it is impact. Uh, apparently, you put it on, breathe, it will not steam up, which will I have tested, and it is correct. You can get little filters that go in there, and these are roughly about eight pound on Amazon. I'll leave the links to it on the side so you know where what it's called and what you've got to do. Because usually you buy these, and these are probably what. 30 40 pounds, which they are brilliant. I'll admit, I've got mine, but sometimes you might want something ever so light, like this. And it doesn't steam up, and it is. And it is impact the downstream up, so there you go. If you want something cheap that will protect you when you're working on your live or on any of your power tools, these are a good thing. But like I said, the downstream up, I have tested it, and you get little filters to filter the dust, so and it covers you all the way around. Look. So, bear in mind, if you don't want to spend the big money on these, which these are good, then there's a, another alternative to that. And this will protect you just as good as this will. Because they are impact rated. They are definitely impact rated. So, there you go. Nice little lightweight for your phone so I'll, like says, I will leave all the details to this from Amazon so now it's over to the main review of today's video and that's the lumberjack pencil so I'll turn you around and let's have a look okay then so that is the Lumberjack, the BS 3R5 12 inch bandsaw. And at the moment it's on a sale for 499, 500 pound. Now, a disclaimer on it. I have not been given this. I am not sponsored by Lumberjack. I have paid for this out of my own pocket. So, none of these two items you've seen today, I'm, spon I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them whatsoever. This is an honest review on it, and I've paid for this out of my own pocket. So, that's that out of the way. So, right then, let's bring it in closer, and let's have a look what you get for your books. Okay then, so, like I said, this is what you get. You get a nice... Decent, tall plate on the side. Uh, you can turn that so it's smaller. It, it does adjust different ways. Obviously, that you get that, which is you know they're all like that. But that's what you get with that. Your circle cutting jig, which. Obviously, you probably you get obviously the manual book as well, which then you can sort of just bore a little hole in there, and then you can bring that down, and obviously you'll be able to get your blanks. 
to round. So that is one of the features that I did like about this machine is that and it is like it says fully adjustable and obviously that goes in down. Yeah. So that is that. And also you take it out out of the way and that is the circling jig that comes with this machine. Which that's what drew me to this machine, to be honest with you. So, uh, what else you get? Let's get you back a bit, so I think you're a bit. That's it. So, uh, right. Obviously, the the frow depth on it, it does. It, the frow depth is obviously 12 inches, and 12 inch band so The blind that comes with it. Is still the, the blade that comes. I have not switched this machine on yet. I have not used it as you can see. There's no dust anywhere. So now the blade that comes with is a 13 millimeter 4 TPI blade. I don't know what the blade's like on it, but we'll soon find out. Okay, so now the power on the motor is. 750 on the uh, motor on it inversion motor 750 watt inversion motor quite quite powerful really that is yeah uh, I think that's it on what you can see here I'll take you, you down it does come <laughs> Like exactly like you see, it's got a nice little dust tray there that you pull out and it collects the dust so you can check that out and empty it that way. Yeah, you've got a quick release underneath, which you can you can't see, but you know, that's, just a that's it, quick release there. You've also, if I get you down a bit more, bring you around the side, like so. See, I am working off my tripod, so excuse all the moving and, and what. So, it's also got the uh, speed control there, so it, you know, make it go faster and slower by turning. The second knob there which tightens the belt so that's a nice little feature as well with it it's also obviously when these doors are open it's got a safety cut off switch so when the doors are open it won't come on so that's the bottom bring it up to the top right it runs on ball bearings, as you can see, front and back, I believe. Yes. Uh, to undo that, you obviously turn that knob, and then that drops down and lifts up. To whatever you want. Same with the top. Turn it, that opens it, comes with a, a, a safety, you know, a safety switch on that as well. It's also got your, your 8mm, 12 and 20mm your tension, which as you adjust that, that comes up. I, I believe it, it's a decent uh, torque now. So oh, that is that. It also comes with an handy little LED light at the bottom. So we'll just now I'm not messing with that part. I'll pl I'll plug it in now and let's see. Well, that should 
be on. Now, I'm hoping uh, you can see this lot. Oh, there you are. Let's get you back a bit. So, you switch it on there. And there's your handy little lot. You can move about and have work straight on your piece. So we'll get that out of the way. That, like I said, as I was saying with the fence, there it is. I have checked it all. Just check this off, undo that, lift that up. I set it at zero. It is on zero. I have checked the line and suit that. And it is quite bang on, that is. Especially on the back. Really square. So I was happy, happy with that. Uh, obviously, to get that the blade square, see, I'll just put that on and it's showing that it's quite level there, which is important to you as well when you set this up. Because when it comes, it comes in the box, you have to assemble the legs to it and you have to put just put that on. And obviously, there's a little skew, skew there in the back just to get it through well 90 degrees from the bed to your blade so that is that I also checked so when you put that on a good way to tell these is line it up with that mark that this slide runs along and you can always tell by looking at that weather that it has got a decent hold on it, so that, that's quite good. Uh, right, I did check this, so I put my... Let's get you round here, see if you can see it. I will edit bits of this out so it looks... See, I'll grab this, set that at 90, put it on, sort it up. And it was bang on. I also tried it at 45. Put it there, turn that around, brought it on. And that was bang on. So that's that. So we'll put that back to 90. The Lord says these. They're all right, but they are the same as most ones. They have got a, just a bit of a play in them, but me, my table saw is just the same, to be honest with you. So there we are. So now I'll get you round the back and we'll have a quick look at it that way. I'm just showing you what comes with you for the price. You also obviously get your push stick that you put a little up there which you can just hang it there and you can just grab it there to help push in your work so it comes with that as well so right what else uh, I'll take you around the back we'll have a look at uh, where the dust uh, Collection is on the back. So round the back we go. Okay then, right at the top half of the machine. It uh, obviously at the back that is your your leveling. Obviously to the tracking on the blade. That's how you you deal with that. And it explains to you on there. That is a, a quick release. So it's quicker to change the blade. And you leave it set at the time and just bring it down and then obviously it's it's quicker to get the blade changed and whatnot. So at the bottom Right. Okay. At 
at the bottom is your dust port car and that is a 50, 70 and 100 mil. so you've got the three sizes on there to, co to connect it that is the mouth, uh, obviously you can now the mouth so. but it's uh, so yeah well, as you know, I showed you that one, that is to adjust the speed you've got. Let's lift it up a bit again. Obviously, you undo that there, and that gives you your tilt on the table. It goes to from 90 to 45. So, there you are. I have, like says, I have set set this so it's at 90 degrees the table to the blade. So, and you do that by just adjusting that. It could, you do get all the Allen keys and the spanner you need to to adjust everything that you need to adjust to it. Well, that is. Let's see if I can get you in on the uh, on the actual details of the machine. Whether you can see that. I'm working off my tripod, so it is. Whether you can see that, look. But that is what you get. Got a bit of a yeah. That's what you get with, and that that is all the. Information is on the bottom, the size of the blade and everything. So, so yes, that is that is it. So, and that is the lumberjack, the BS three L five. So, so I believe I think that's everything there. I can to quickly expl explain explain what comes with the machine so let's get you around the front and we'll we'll do some cutting on you right what i did actually forget to explain properly about the uh, pulling system when it comes it's set on the slow speed yeah so what you need to do if you want it on the fast speed is Obviously, take the tension off the belt. Yeah. And then release the top blade. So, you know, and then that way then you can pull that out onto the first gear and then the top gear on the bit on the wheel and that will give you the slow speed on here. And then if you want it at the fast speed, you put the belt on the back one. There's a, another gear at the back. So you put the belt on there, on the, the bigger, the big gear of it. And then you can then, obviously, tension your belt. Like that. Actually, you've got a nice bit of a... And that's it. But that is how... You get your two speeds out of the band so I did forget to mention that so apologies for that uh, that's why it pays to sit down and read the manual book so there you are so that is how you adjust your speed from slow because when I tried to adjust it was on the slow speed and then obviously I've moved the belt now to the to the uh, the fastest speed it comes and then there you are so that's it that's all ready to go now so we can shut that lock that off so it works and we're ready to do the cup now so bear in mind when you if you get one of these read the, do read the manual in you know the instruction book and then It'll explain to you more about it than what I'm doing. So let's go to the top and let's run a piece of.
server. So it went through with these. That's a nice pub. All looks nice and even on it. So there you are. battery must be going on my dust collection so there you are guys so it does cook, cook quite well uh, obviously you will see future videos where I'm using this a lot more now and uh, to obviously use the circling jig on it uh, I don't think I've got anything just to show. Oh, I have. Let me get set up and then we'll have a look at the circle cutting jig on it. So I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, right then. So I think I've set up. So don't forget, I only just built it this morning, put it together, and then quickly done this review on it. So, but anyway, these are the features why I went for it. So I've Measured the middle of the centre of the wood. I've put that in, connected that, drilled the little tiny hole there just to hold this. So now it's a matter of turning it on and turning it round. So we'll get this on and the dust on. seems to be gone through that okay so I can really now set it for you know for getting a perfect circle on it so there you are there you are just cut it round as well it is obviously because of the uh, circling jig I've got to have a sit down have a look have a read of this and get things going a bit better myself to learn the more features about the machine uh, if you go on to Lumberjack's website I do a, just a bit more explaining on there I believe especially on to set it up if you if you you know if you do happen to get one of these, uh, I'm just showing you the features, what it can do, and what you get for your book. So uh, yeah, and they are based in Wolverhampton. I will leave the address and the phone number in the description below. So yeah, there you are, guys. The Lumberjack 12 inch bandsaw. 
So I hope this review is justifying enough for the machine. Because to be late, to be honest with you, it it is a good machine. So I want this one more thing. To be all, I, I should have uh, filmed it with the other camera. To be honest with you, you also got on the side there. If you look, look at your little holes there. If you can shove that in to keep that out your way so you don't lose it. it the dust is going into the bottom tray. So there you are. See you in a minute. So there you are guys. The lumberjack 12 inch of bandsaw. So, is it worth the money? Definitely, in my eyes. Uh, what I've been used to, 100% definitely. <laughs> but, yeah, it is, uh, like I says, I, I love the uh, circle cutting jig of it. That is, I'll that's going to help me out a lot for me blanks, get them to round and, and all that. Uh, it's just a matter of plodding through and finding out this, that and that with it, you know. But like I've said, you can adjust that so you don't have to have it so away, you know. Uh, but it, it, yeah, it's a, it's a good machine. Uh, yeah, but they are based in Wolverhampton. Uh, so, at the minute, there's £100 knocked off it, so... You're getting it for four nine nine nine, five hundred pound. So yeah, uh, they do the other sizes. They do the smaller one. They do I think they do the nine, the ten, uh, and I have to do the fourteen. I was gonna have the ex part of extra now the fourteen, but I thought now I think the shop ain't you know it's a small tiny shop so it's not massively big so uh, that's why I've only got this mini prowl uh, this will be bang on for my needs so yes guys it's worth checking out seeing if you like one but I am impressed with it and only time will tell I'll give you an update in a few months time uh, And that's all I can say about it, so I hope this helps you out if if, if you are out there looking for a, an upgrade in your van saw and you want especially the features that you get for your money for the, this machine with all that. You don't get that with any others. So especially the circle you know, the cutting circle cutting jig and that's what impressed me the most with it. Uh, I haven't got a mech one now to do it, it automatically comes with it, so uh, it's just a matter of practicing and learning and getting it right, that's what it's all about, so anyway, thanks for watching, uh, till the next time, bye now.